Have you ever wondered where these little light devices come from? They are littered all over the streets and highways and they slow down our trips when we are on our way out to the beach or to grab our favorite ice cream. So why do we even need them anyways? And who planted all these devices there? Where do they even come from? Don't worry. Today, I will tell you a story on how these devices called traffic signals came to be. You see, without the traffic signals, drivers of vehicles would be confused not knowing how to proceed at an intersection and this could lead to serious traffic crashes. This could lead to serious injuries or even loss of life and we don't want that to happen. The story of the traffic signals goes far back to the year 1722. Back then, these devices were not in existence and police officers are stationed at intersections to manually direct the traffic from different directions. As you can imagine, this can be a very difficult job for the officers as they have to communicate with each other while also directing the traffic. Therefore, in the year 1868, gaslit traffic signals were installed in london to control the traffic this signal was still being operated by police constables and he or she has to manually change the light using a lever at its base however it wasn't long until tragedy struck an explosion occurred at one of these traffic signals resulting from gas leak causing severe injuries to the police constable operating it. After this incident, it took the United States about 40 years to adopt a similar system but with better safety standards. By the year 1912, the very first electric traffic signal was developed by a policeman named Lister Wire in Salt Lake City, Utah. This first version of the electric traffic signal had just two light signals, red light and green light. But drivers still need to know when the light is about to change, else there would be more accidents on the road. Hence, the light came with buzzers that goes off once the light is about to be changed. Even though these signals were electric, they still had to be operated manually. It was not until the year 1920 that the first interconnected traffic light was introduced which also worked automatically. A third light was also introduced with an amber color which is used to signify the change of the light to alert the drivers. These automated traffic signals were really effective and saved several cities tons of money from manual control of the intersections. The city of New York saved about $12.5 million from the introduction of the automatic traffic signals. Over the years, with the invention of computers and advanced technologies, the traffic signals have evolved and now we have smart traffic signals which is able to detect the number of vehicles at an intersection as well as providing signals for pedestrians. Now you know where the traffic signals come from and why they are needed. So the next time you are stopped by the traffic signal, Remember, it was installed to protect you and others on the road and not to delay you from getting your favorite ice cream treat.